And Japan says it will raise the issue of China's air defense identification zone during the Japan ASEAN Special Summit, which will be held in December in Tokyo. It plans to ask ASEAN countries to take the same stance as Japan does. And China's foreign ministry has responded to the news. We have repeatedly made our position clear on the issue of the East China Sea Air Defense Identification Zone. We would like to ask Japan to explain to other countries whether it has an ADIS or not. When Japan first set up its ADIS and later on expanded its ADIS several times, it never consulted with other countries. And look at the size of Japan's ADIS. Japan doesn't want to allow others to do what itself has been doing and is trying to stir up trouble. This approach is senseless and speaks of Japan's ulterior motives. Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe says Japan is seriously concerned about China's air defense zone. Abe met officials of the Liberal Democratic Party at his res residence and accepted their written proposal asking China to retract the decision. And Abe says he will seek backing from neighboring countries and international institutions. And Japanese Foreign Minister Fumio Kashida said he will discuss the issue with U.S. Vice President Joe Biden next week. And Japan sent out aircraft last Saturday to monitor China's surveillance planes. On Thursday, Japan's self-defense forces dispatched more aircraft into the air defense identification zone. And Japan set up a similar zone in 1969. Like China's ADIS, it includes the Diaoyu Islands.